Okay, hold on. Welcome to another Tarot After Dark. We love these. Look what I just discovered. This thing, these, these, this candlestick holder just glows like a mo, like a mother. My mother watches these videos. Hi, mom. That is so cool. You can see that, right? Okay. Tear off to dark has got to be one of my favorite things. I'll put that right there. I saw that and I had to start recording prematurely because of the excitement. So welcome in to the video. It's Saturday night. And if you watched uh, the earlier video from this morning, but that I didn't post until the afternoon or maybe even later because um, I was working, uh, you'll know that the message was, was a, a lot about um, seeing things clearly and objectively and uh, moving in the direction of things that feel good to you. Um, and so I meditated a little bit on this earlier and I'm realizing that this is, um, you know, it's almost mid-December and this isn't necessarily the, the uh, most stress-free time of year. And I wanted to do another reading for whoever, for whoever needs it, for whoever this finds, about just releasing any negativity that we carry, any, um, you know, our, the invisible things that we carry with us on the daily basis in our bodies and um, that are things that might be on our minds, um, things that make it hard to um, be in the moment, just relax, um, even things that make it difficult for us to sit still. So I want to lend you a little bit of that kind of energy. It took me a while today to get there, but I did. And now I want to um, share some of that with you. So, what advice can we get about releasing negativity, making room for things that make us happy, making room for joy, making room for peace before the end of the year? Um, there's a lot of themes of, of sort of acceptance, but also um, moving beyond acceptance into, how do you say, uh, there's sort of, a, there, there, there's, there can be a quick progression from acceptance to wishing to um, action to taking action now on these sort of like new wishes. And that comes from that lucidity, that clarity that came out in this in the earlier read today. If you're able to see something clearly, um, a situation, a person, yourself, and really confronting that, that piece of information, that clarity with compassion, you can move forward. You can move on. You can allow that, if you can allow that discomfort, the discomfort of that to fuel you, okay? But that just means we have to release any negativity associated with this situation. Hopefully by now you're thinking about something like this that pertains to your life. Charging the cards. How do you like my glasses? These are my these are my real scrying eyes. I got these this summer when I started reading and honestly it wasn't it wasn't because it has nothing to do with the reading. Um but it just sort of happened to line up and now that so this is my this is my my persona if you will 
this is my new this is my new me with these glasses with these with this reading with this kind of thinking let's see where we go oh, look at that the star shooting star at the bottom of the deck Someone's got a lot of hope. Someone's wishing. Got a lot of wishing. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yeah. So this is about um, wanting to understand how the world works. Wanting to know the reason why. This is this is about trying to understand as much as humanly possible about this cycle, this negativity. Why did it happen this way? Why does it exist? Why must it be such torture? <laughs> if the wish is underneath, the wish is likely to, you know, poof, I wish it didn't exist. This is what's come. This is the recent past. These two cards: the the Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and we have the Crescent Moon as the third card for the recent past, which is it's time to time for some radical self care and uh, to build yourself up. This is a time to sort of start building your confidence because you have been. You have been, you have started the process already of trying to understand. This is, this is, um, this is taking something cognitive into like, well, okay, well, how do I turn this, this negativity into something practical? That's the work being done here. Uh, and it does take courage. So this, there's, that's why the crescent moon is showing up lovers there's confidence again showing up nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so what i'm getting very strongly with with these is um the lovers first of all 2022 is a lovers card year two plus zero plus two plus two is six and six is the lovers right yeah. But the lover's card for me always meant, always had this like homecoming to oneself kind of feeling. It's not always about a romantic love or the lovers or finding the love of your life. It's about welcoming all parts of yourself home. So if this is about you, uh, if this negativity is somehow related to you denying uh, yourself um, a piece of your past or something that's happened to you or a situation that you're having to deal with that has been so difficult that you left a piece of yourself behind this is your homecoming um, nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles this is about nurturing and growth is here and the ace of pentacles being an opportunity a new in the present moment there is an opportunity for building uh the, con the continuance of building of self-care because we have it here in the past as well maybe the the, the work in the past of the self-care is now manifesting into this confidence if you're manifesting a new opportunity here it's from a place of better balance within yourself. Eee, look at that. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Wow, okay. So in the future, I, wow, this is pretty crazy looking. Is it just my glasses? Nope, it looks, 
Oh, you know what? I got ISO settings on the camera. Sorry, folks. Okay, so what I'm getting with these cards here in the near future, um, this is this is a new skill you're developing. How to um, find have better balance with negative thoughts, like not allowing negative thoughts to. Um, We all experience negativity in daily in our daily lives, but like not allowing that to become a part of who you are. Like I think I have negative thoughts, so I'm a negative person, you know, or I have anxiety, so I, I must be an anxious person and I'm never going to um, not be able to not feel anxious. Our thoughts and feelings are very helpful. Emotions are helpful. Our thoughts are helpful. All of these things are just really telling of what's going on inside and what lessons we have yet to learn. And so when I talk about like how do we release this negativity, it really is actually, <laughs> it's not about leaving it behind. It's about welcoming it. It's about saying, yes, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing me um, this very helpful emotion, it's telling me a lot about myself. But it is more about the acceptance of that. This is a part of who you are. That's what the lovers means. Once you learn that, once you learn this new skill, once you learn, once you learn this, this lesson, this information, you'll be able to approach life in a more balanced way. The Page of Swords prepares us for any moment. It's about being prepared and being prepared and being balanced. All right, let's do some clarification. How about the shooting star? Spring. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. You think that you don't have what it takes to like deal with this negativity. Because what I'm with spring, there's like new life here. It's almost like you have to turn over a new leaf. I think it does change who you are. The wish is that you could be somebody different so that you could deal with this. The Three of Swords is also bravery though. Like I wish I was braver. I wish I I wish I was more sort of that's what I'm getting intuitively. But you are. That's what the present here is showing is that there's this comp there's this confidence showing up once you accept that you are the way you are. You know, we all have our own ways of dealing with things. Uh, let's let's go and clarify the recent past. Page of Pentacles. Sun. There's the joy. Strength. <laughs> yes. This is what I'm talking about. In the recent past, you have realized that this isn't working anymore. This negativity isn't working anymore. You know what's not working anymore for me is I got to fix these camera settings. One sec. Okay. 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 We're back. I fixed it. You see how easy that was? I needed to understand why that was happening. And eventually I just got the confidence to take action so that's what I mean that's what this spread is really about in the recent past you have you realize that this isn't good enough you're missing your sense of joy the Sun card strength five of Pentacles so <sighs> the current in the recent past the, the amount of courage you had found was simply to acknowledge that the difference between you standing in your power and you feeling left out in the cold 
is whether or not you're willing to admit it, that something is making you unhappy. This isn't about survival anymore. This is, a, this is about do, you know, finding your north, finding, finding the thing that you're meant to do. And I don't mean in like a predestiny sort of way, but just even the stuff that feels good to you. Let's go straight on to the Ten of Swords. Goblin tricks. Uh-oh. Yeah. If you have allowed some kind of negative situation or toxic situation to persist in your life, it's because you've tricked yourself into thinking that this is what you want. But, but really, it's left you feeling very disappointed. I think that this this has reached some this had reached some level of of like point of no return. You're like, well, I can't get any lower than this. And if I'm going to get out of this, I really have to say hell no. Like it's almost like you know what you want. It's deep down in there. Once you admit it, you have to now say no very clearly. To this situation you have to simply deny that access to you you've been tricking yourself into disappointment oh this is happening to me no it's actually happening for you so that you can realize and recognize that you are not really taking a, um, any sort of proactive action here so this is the recent past still. You've had this realization, great. Now I see the crescent moon. There's been some time spent in self-care. What can that tell us? Ace of swords basically means yes, everything I just said, you're spending some time hibernating. You're, um, you're learning how to move in the world, through the world in a way that is more authentic. Um, it's happening very slowly, though. This has been happening over a, a, possibly a long period of time. This has been happening for a while. This like incubation period of like, oh no, this is not, this is not it. Let's go. Oh goodness. I lost a lot of cards here. Please bear with me. I don't want to leave any behind. If we pick up a card from another deck, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Um, it's, it seems like everything from now on um, is a little bit more strategic. Um, let's see the lovers. Death. Transformation. Yep, you're changing. Wheel of Fortune. Over time, more balanced. Um, so some, some part of your personality, some, something that's been like a pattern or a cycle in your life. That's why I say your personality, because our personalities are really just like, our egos are just how we've learned to behave in response to certain situations. That is what a personality is. I see death, the wheel of fortune, and justice. So your personality, like if you this year you felt like your first whole personality has shifted or changed, that's what this lover's is. Being more fair with yourself. This is about the inner, our inner dualities, balancing the inner dualities, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Let's 
see the nine of pentacles. It's the queen of wands, the ten of wands, and the seven of pentacles. So if the Nine of Pentacles here is this like overall um, confidence boost, this like this thing that you've grown, there's like definitely sort of like Venus energy in this. It, you know, this comes from like the, the Ten of Wands. This is about the end of a cycle, right? Ten, the Ten of Anything is the end of a cycle. So earlier we had the Ten of Swords. Now it's the Ten of Wands. I think this is about realizing past patterns of motivation. So going back to like the ego, the patterns, our, our behaviors, our personalities. You are possibly feeling very inspired right now. Um, but it's because you see how far you've come and you've done the self-care you've done the grat you've done your gratitudes and you and there's a lot i see a lot of gratitude here for everything you have accomplished um and now you're ready to take a break you've made some sort of large investment in yourself that's giving you confidence it was a lot of work but also like you are you are extremely powerful right now That's what's leading to this new opportunity in the present. What is this new opportunity? The Ace of Pentacles. I love to see all the Pentacles because at the beginning of the reading, there was something about turning this idea of why and how into something very practical. And so the Pentacles is all about the earthly things, the, the, the make it real. There's a new opportunity here that you've manifested by doing this work. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the moon. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, man. I love this. This happened to me recently, and this, this is the energy that I'm vibing with right now. It's the Ten of Pentacles, so the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Knight of Pentacles. This combo to me is sort of like the, if you have an idea, this new opportunity, it could just be like the, the opportunity to go do something or you, have a, you, have an, you yourself have an idea to go do something and maybe just the, excuse me. The opportunity is very real. There's a very real opportunity. But if just the idea of it scares you, the moon represents our subconscious, our fears, the things that pull us. If there is some sort of like reaction to this, um, to me that sort of means you got to do it. If it terrifies the shit out of you, you got to try it. You got to do it. There wouldn't, you wouldn't be having this reaction if it meant absolutely nothing to you. Because if it meant nothing to you, you would just sort of brush it off. You would find some excuse. Or it just simply wouldn't affect you. That's like the opposite of, um, you know, love or, or, or passion or like being inspired and drawn to something is to like not be drawn at all. Not hate. Hate is another passionate, like, even negativity. Like, that's, that, that, that does fall on a scale of some sort of, like, emotion. So that's why this is important. Anything that is charged is important, good or bad. That's the thing to realize. Indifference doesn't matter. We can be indifferent towards indifference. 
we can move on from that. We can accept that. So if this has to do with some sort of like, um, let's say, dream job or, you know, some sort of like opportunity to make money, like, or if this is a way that you envision making money in the future, like if it scares you, if doing the thing scares you, I think you need to try it. And the Knight of Pentacles is here to remind you to take a, just the first step, take a very practical first step. Like what, what could you do today to set you up, to get you one step closer to this Ten of Pentacles, which is all of your abundance, all of your prosperity, your legacy, the life you want to build. Because it show, the, the, it's showing up here that there's an opportunity to move towards that, and it scares the shit out of you. Maybe. So what's in the future? I see you doing the work in the future. I see you doing, in the future, I see you doing the work in a very balanced way, very generous and also reciprocal way. It's almost like you found a new way of doing things that is better. Wouldn't that be nice if everybody could do that? Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. The Fool. Hermit. So this work towards your dreams, if you will, this wish upon a star, this release of negativity and movement towards joy, that work involves getting in touch with your feelings, your intuition, that's the Queen of Cups here, removing any perceived ideas ideas around this new idea it's a new idea that's why the fool is here it's new remove all the old constraints all the previous all the histories all the preconceived notions of what it it is or what it should be i feel like the what we think of as the future like what the future actually is changes every second every day Even when I was in high school, a long time ago, we knew that the jobs that we would have in the future didn't even exist in that moment. So how could we prepare for the future? You can't prepare for the future that way anymore. You can't say, five years from now, I'm going to be doing this specific exact thing. That's why the work is more about how it feels like on the inside you know inside you does it feel good to do this think outside the box be more open focus more on the feeling and the structure of it whatever it, it will actually look like don't give it a box I guess the structure of it what it will actually look like will just become known once the future does come but it's not necessarily your job to build the structure for it we all do that as a collective every day. And it's almost like the butterfly effect. You know, one person does one small thing differently here. The whole outcome of the future changes. So don't focus too much about what it looks like. It, do, you don't, it doesn't have to be physical to be real. You are intended to sort of just follow your own light. Your path is unique. Um, let's clarify now the Six of Pentacles in the near future. This is about the equal give and take. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. The Hierophant represents like tradition and um, the law and 
It's Taurus. I love his, like, suit of keys. You see that? Whoa. Whoa. You see the keys on his pants? Wisdom. Information. So the balance indicated on this card, the Six of Pentacles, it's almost like you want to be fair to yourself in the future. Be fair to yourself. There's the Queen of Pentacles. She's living the manifestation. She's very generous with, with everything she's accomplished so far. She's extremely nurturing. Um... Maybe some of you feel like after this whole journey, you'll feel like you are so stable and grounded in yourself. And I say grounded for the King of Cups because he's, he's actually quite unshakable. He's unshakable. His emotions are, are such in check. Such in check. They're so in check that nothing can possibly make him waver one way or the other. And the Hierophant, I mean, that's the law. There's so there's like a whole lot of, um, I don't want to say rigidity, but that's sort of how I'm feeling. The balance that you are creating right now, the way that you're changing right now is manifesting in the future um, I don't know why I'm getting lawyer, but I am. So if somebody out there wants to be a lawyer, wants to deal with the law, maybe this is some sort of social cause, social justice. That's, that's my intuitive read on that. If it resonates for you and you happen to be watching this, just let me know. Um, finally, the Page of Swords. We got the Magician, more manifesting. You have all the tools, collaboration, and the Seven of Swords. So I'm just going to say this. I don't know. This, there's a lot of like mixed up energy here at the end. And I don't know. Sometimes I don't know where other people's energy is. And, and when I'm picking up on one person or, an, or a different person and, and what the case may be. And honestly, for me personally, I'll interpret it one way. I'm sort of trying to read as general as possible. Uh, but you'll read it, you'll interpret this a whole nother way. So what's it matter anyways? There is um, a bit of deception here. Someone, someone in your community, this could be, or somebody that you work with is in the near future here, you might be ending some something with somebody who has been manipulative towards you. I feel like if you're on this journey, right, of, of healing, releasing negativity, I haven't really seen anybody else's energy come in until the very end. Now that you've found this sort of like balanced approach and it almost feels like you've like figured out your mission here, you... Um, you know, I think the goal is to find partnership in partnership in mission in the future. But there's um, look the page of swords. He's ready to go into battle. 
but this is cognitive, this is knowledge, this is, we know what to do now. Let's go do it. And what came out to clarify was the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So it's almost like, don't, you know, carry the torch, so to speak, on your own for a little while would be my advice, just based on what I see. Like, don't go into partnership with anybody in the near future um, because it, it might be somebody deceiving you. You might think that you have a collaborator here in a positive sense, but what you have is a, not a collaborator. <laughs> um, please clarify the magician. Judgment. This might be somebody who you've not, who um, you might have had intuitive feelings on before, not to, tr to not to trust them. Show me the Hierophant. I'm going to go back. Four of Swords. Yeah, so the more balanced approach here is the Six of Pentacles and not the Knight of Swords. If I'm going to interpret these last two cards as like this or that sort of outcome, this is about living your manifestation, like the Queen, the Queen of uh, Queen of Pentacles, nurturing that which you've accomplished so far, whatever it may be. Like celebrate how far you've come in this new journey. If you're welcoming yourself home again. You're trying to find balance. You're 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 building yourself up. You're you're quitting lessons, not quitting lessons, finishing lessons, um, building your self confidence, taking steps towards your future, even though it terrifies you. Congratulations. Just sit on that for a little while, um, and anytime you feel a little bit ungrounded, take time out to rest and ground yourself. Don't. I think this is the warning here: is don't just with this new body, with this new soul, with this new mind state, don't just go and slay dragons just yet. I think that's what this is about. You may think you have everything you need, the magician, right? The magician has all the tools he needs to manifest. You may think you have everything you need, but actually um, you might need help. And so you'd be deceiving yourself if you think you can do it, you can go it alone. It's not over. The lesson's not over. There's still more to learn. Judgment is about self-assessment, understanding, and the like. So, um... It, this all makes sense to me because I do believe and I like to remind myself always that our reactions to things, like if something inspires us greatly, if something makes us feel very sad, or if something makes us very angry, that's just, that's just information. It's just data points for judgment in the most positive of, of, of ways that I mean that because... Um, it tells you a lot of information about who you are, where you're at, how you're changing. Um, we could feel a boost of confidence when we've slayed some of our own demons, some of our dragons. And, when, and we do get a boost of confidence when we can see our dreams coming closer and closer to becoming real. But um, I think that's what this is about, was um, while we release the negativity we go towards our joy, we might have this feeling of wanting to just go and um, 
run to home base. Not quite there yet. <laughs> Not quite there yet. All right, I'm gonna pull a an, an illuminated love oracle. Wow, 40 minute read. If you're still here, I guess congrats. Um, I admire you for it. Unraveling. Page 61. The power of becoming undone. This is an activation of the courage and willingness required to unravel the identities and stories you have known and allow yourself to be undone, that you may come to know yourself anew as you lay down resistance and lean in, more gracious movement unfolds as life has her way with you. This card comes with the realization that something in your life is ready to be released. This may be a relationship, career path, thought form, outdated way of being, or something that you have held tight to. As a part of your identity, this unraveling is a catharsis and your choice to be an active participant deepens your trust in the unfolding. Be kind and compassionate with yourself through this process, noticing what arises to be met without identifying with it. Card hold failure. But do you see how this card says everything from the last 40 minutes? If you just want to skip to the end, I'll put that in the description maybe if I remember. Here's the illuminated intention. I am an active participant in the release of all that no longer serves me. You're welcome. Have a good night, everybody. Take care.